Hi, after 6 months long break I finally decided to reboot Django Lessons series. This reboot brings some changes too. First of all, Django Lessons now has a blog. Another thing is that all Django Lessons and articles will be free. Not just they will cost you zero, they will be ads free as well. So let's start. In this screencast I will discuss why it is very important to use Python linters. Python linter enforces specific code style. The most common linter used nowadays is Flake 8. Flake 8 enforces specific code style named PEP8. PEP8 is style for guide Python code which is specified by this document. One of the authors of this document is Guido van Rossum, which is the author of Python programming language and the leader of Python community in general. In the past, like 15 years ago, developers will need to read and learn this document by heart, so to speak. Nowadays, however, thanks to tools like Flake 8, you don't even need to read this document. So let me show you Flake 8 in action. Here's a Python code which I randomly found on GitHub. As you can see, there are a bunch of error messages. And all these error messages, they are issued by uh, Flake 8. I use here a Sublime Text Editor and its plugin called Anaconda. Anaconda plugin provides PEP linting. To find Flake 8 plugin for Sublime specifically, just open package control and look for Flake 8. I used this one. With modern tools like Sublime and Anaconda plugin, I just need to fix these errors. So let's fix a couple of warnings. The first one, here at the bottom is a warning message, too many leading hash for block command. So too many characters like this. The next one is same thing. Okay, let's fix this one. Now, the next one, white space before character. So this white space should be removed. Ambiguous variable L. Maybe it's ambiguous because it is just one letter. Let me rename it. Okay, great, it worked. Next one is blank line contains white spaces. Remove this one and remove this one. Missing white space around operator. White space. Here multiple spaces after keyword. Okay, great. Remove this one. And so on and so forth. The thing is that Flake 8 is nothing more than a command line utility and you install it with standard Python PIP command. Like this. And to check if specific Python module adheres to PAP standard, you just run flake8 command and provide that file as argument. Like this. And you see here all error messages. Getting to use flake8 or whatever Python linter you choose is very important. First of all, when using a linter, your code will look professional. Another important reason to use it is that linted code creates good first impression. And having good first impression about your code, your project, or even maybe you as a person is important because it can make or break a deal. And last but not least is that correct code style becomes a habit. And we know that good programming habits lead to great career. Let me stop at the last argument, style as habit, and show you visually its long-term impact. Children and teenagers usually don't pay attention to their body posture. Many times when reading, writing, or playing video games, they take horrible postures, like the ones you can see in the picture on the left side here. If these wrong positions become a habit, over the years, hunchback posture develops, as you can see in this picture here. Usually, parents instruct their kids to take correct body posture, which long term leads to normal body development. Very similar situation is with Python linters. When using Python linters, you practice correct habits, which long term will lead to your programming career growth. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching.